gods wait on the windowsill, where once eight gods did war and will. And if the gods themselves may die, what does that say for you and I? over your perfect life in your perfect neighborhood on this perfect morning in the mostly perfect burg of New Arcadia. I say mostly perfect because from the edge of the city to its black heart, it pulses with evil. But we may be getting ahead of ourselves. I am here to guide you through this corrupted suburbia while we surmount these challenges, do not dwell on my mysterious identity. It will only distract you from the task at hand. You're dwelling on it, aren't you? I urge you, do not. Your life and the lives of others may well depend upon it. Now then, I, um... <clears throat> forgive me. I'm afraid that I cannot concentrate with your lawn in such... in such... disarray. Please, 
Pay me this small kindness. Take up yon rake and bring these grounds in line with civilization. I beg you. than I imagined. I thought we had all afternoon, at least. We're even going to go windsurf, weather permitting. There is no time to mourn, however. We must direct ourselves toward more useful endeavors. For example, that was a rather large robot. And it was being followed by two strange men. Let us chart the winding course of our destiny. What say you? Spirit, onward! Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of... The dogs of... I know this. Cry havoc and then you do something to... Some kind of dog. Curse it. Well, we best be on our way. I'm sure it will come to me eventually. <laughs> Take heed, people. These creatures are a recent phenomenon in New Arcadia. Their carnal appetite for fresh fruit drives them to tiny acts of vulgarity. to communicate with it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hold! Those strange men again. We will make their acquaintance soon. Observe these bottles. Once they held wholesome milk, known to promote bone health. Now they keep a sinister secret. Let us discover this secret now. that I expected more from our feline companion. Oh. 